Yeah, so it all started a couple of years ago. We were looking at um, stepping into some adjacent markets that are just close to, but not quite within, the, the civil market that Fulton Hogan is already um, part of. Um, one of those that came up was rapid hardening concrete. Um, primarily it's used in airports where uh, slabs need to be replaced, but they've only got a short period of time to be able to shut down those taxiways. We looked worldwide for the right product for us to utilise. Um, we met with several different companies, but the one that stood out to us was Concrete, and we found that it was just head and shoulders above the rest. And then we got to the point where we signed an exclusivity agreement, but now we have full rights to the import of Concrete and Cement into Australia and New Zealand. So it was great that we'd found the product, but now we really needed to make sure that we had the expertise to place this. It's not like normal concrete. You need to understand how to manufacture it. You need to understand how to place it. And for that, we needed a delivery partner so that our learning curve wasn't as steep as what it would have otherwise been. We started looking for that partner and we came across a small civil company called IFAS, who are based down in Victoria. IFAS brings over 10 years experience in the supply and placement of foliage strength concrete. IVAS has uh, one of the largest fleets of volumetric mixers and other specialised equipment. Our labour force is well known around the country for delivering our highly strength pavements. What we bring to the table is the experience and the professionalism to open up a runway pavement uh, on time and on budget. What makes uh, Concrete such a great product is its flexibility in regards to open times. Depending on the project, we can actually tweak the mix to um, being able to give us the optimal working time to open a, a runway pavement and then close it in a particular time. Uh, we're, we're currently undertaking works on our first major contract. Uh, the works are going really well to a high standard. Melbourne Airport are very happy with the results. Um, and, and post that, we're looking at further projects, both at Melbourne Airport, but also Sydney and Brisbane in particular, where we know that there's slabs that need to be replaced in the coming years. We're also looking at different types of infrastructure, you know, bridges and other road pavements, etc., where time constraints mean that the use of rapid hardening concrete um, could be a benefit to the project. 